Have you ever wondered how hydrogen is stored for various applications? It's quite a fascinating process actually. Hydrogen storage is a significant cog in the wheel of several industries, from grid-scale energy systems to fuel cell vehicles. It's all about finding the best way to pack in as much hydrogen as possible, safely and efficiently. Now, there are two broad categories of hydrogen storage methods, physical and chemical. Physical storage, like the name suggests, involves manipulating the physical state of hydrogen to store it. This could mean compressing hydrogen gas into cylinders or cooling it down to cryogenic temperatures to store it in liquid form. On the other hand, chemical storage methods involve a bit of chemistry magic. These techniques rely on reversible reactions to bind hydrogen molecules to solid materials. This can happen through absorption into the crystal lattice or adsorption onto the surface of these materials. As simple as it may sound, storing hydrogen is a complex process. Let's delve deeper. Imagine you had to pack a suitcase for a long trip. You'd need to compress your clothes to fit as much as possible, right? That's essentially what happens in physical storage of hydrogen. One of the most common methods is compression. Here, we take gaseous hydrogen and squeeze it into high-pressure tanks or cylinders. Just like your suitcase, the objective is to increase storage density. But this method isn't just about cramming in as much as we can. It's also about safety and efficiency. The other main technique is liquefaction. Picture this, it's like turning steam into ice. By cooling hydrogen to cryogenic temperatures, we can store it in liquid form. Again, the goal is to maximize storage density. However, these methods aren't perfect. They face challenges such as lower energy density compared to fossil fuels and safety concerns related to high pressure or extremely cold storage conditions. As you can see, physical storage has its benefits, but it's not without its challenges. Now imagine if you could simply throw your clothes into your suitcase and they'd automatically arrange themselves neatly. That's the magic of chemical storage. In the realm of hydrogen storage, chemical methods offer a similarly fascinating process. These methods involve hydrogen molecules binding to solid materials. There are two primary ways this happens, absorption and adsorption. Absorption is like a sponge soaking up water. Hydrogen molecules are absorbed into the crystal lattice of a solid material. On the other hand, adsorption is more like sticking a post-it note onto a wall. Hydrogen molecules adhere to the surface of a material. However, this isn't always a smooth ride. A significant challenge that emerges is embrittlement. Picture a sturdy metal turning brittle and susceptible to fracture. This happens when hydrogen atoms diffuse into the lattice of metals, compromising their structural integrity. Chemical storage methods are quite innovative, but they too come with their own challenges. So, how do we overcome these challenges in hydrogen storage? Well, the answer lies in the selection of materials. Traditionally, materials with high hydrogen solubility have been avoided due to the risk of hydrogen embrittlement. This occurs when hydrogen atoms diffuse into the lattice of metals, causing them to become brittle and susceptible to fracture, compromising the structural integrity of storage tanks or components. To mitigate this, the focus has shifted towards materials with low hydrogen solubility. Carbon-based materials like carbon nanotubes and graphene, or metal hydrides, which form stable compounds with hydrogen, are preferred. These materials not only offer safe storage solutions but they're also efficient. Efficiency and safety are paramount when it comes to energy storage, especially for something as potent as hydrogen. With the right materials, we can harness the full potential of hydrogen, enabling its widespread adoption as a clean and sustainable energy carrier. Hydrogen storage methods have come a long way, and with ongoing research and innovation, the future looks promising for hydrogen as a sustainable energy source.